everyone, welcome back. Special shout out to any new subscribers. This channel has grown so much over the past two weeks and I'm honestly just floored, so excited and motivated, grateful for all of you and I wanted to let you know. A couple weeks back, I shared my favorite easy go-to method for cooking tofu and I'll link that video down below if you guys are curious. And today I have three more easy tofu recipes that I think you guys will love as well. So let's do it. We are starting out with crispy sweet chili tofu. Now, if you only try one recipe from this video, make it this one because it's to die for. It reminds me a lot of the sweet fire chicken from Pan Express, which I used to love. So I recommend using firm or extra firm tofu and you just need to drain it and cut it into cubes, which we are then going to coat in a mixture of cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Now, warning, do not use a plate like me. Use a bowl or a shallow dish so that you can toss your tofu around without making a mess. Heat your pan over medium-high heat and add a few tablespoons of oil. Um, on the rare occasion that I cook with oil, I do prefer to use coconut oil because it's very heat stable. I also like the flavor that it gives. And you're just gonna fry your tofu cubes for about five to seven minutes all together. Give them a toss every minute or so just until your cornstarch coating becomes nice and beautiful and golden brown and crispy. Then remove your fried tofu to a paper towel to absorb a little bit of the extra oil. And while your pan's still hot, throw in a handful of sliced red peppers. I like to add some pineapple chunks and you can even add in some onion slices. Just dry fry those for a minute or so until they become a little bit tender. And the finishing touch is simply to toss your tofu and peppers in some sweet chili sauce. I just buy it pre-made at the store and you can find it at most supermarkets in the international section. And that's all there is to it. And you can actually add any kind of sauce you like, but the sweet chili is my personal favorite. The second recipe is for Jamaican-inspired jerk tofu. Okay, this one has quite a few ingredients, but it comes together very fast, and I promise it's worth it because the flavor is out of this world. So you'll need a red onion, a jalapeno, or a few serrano peppers, and you will want to take the seeds and the ribs out if you don't like spicy food. You'll also need some green onions and a few cloves of garlic. Now for spices, you'll need a bit of thyme, some cloves, cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg, and the exact measurements will be in the video description, Below. And lastly, you'll need a bit of coconut or brown sugar, some soy sauce, and some vinegar. I use apple cider vinegar, but malt or white vinegar also work fine. And you just process everything in your blender or food processor until it's nice and smooth. Then cut your firm or extra firm tofu into steaks and then lie them flat in a pan and pour your jerk marinade over top. I'm marinating two blocks here actually so I can have enough for a few days. Then just cover it, refrigerate for at least four hours, ideally overnight to let the tofu absorb as much flavor as possible. This dish is actually best if you prepare it on the grill for that really nice smoky flavor, but you can also use a grill pan on the stove or just a regular nonstick skillet, which is what I'm showing here. And you fry your tofu on medium high heat for about three to five minutes per side or until golden brown, but you do wanna keep an eye on it because soy sauce caramelizes pretty quickly. So depending on your stove, you may need to turn down the heat just a little bit after you flip it. When I serve it, I like to spoon more of the leftover jerk sauce over the top and you don't even need to heat the sauce because the acid from the vinegar actually sort of cooks the onion so you won't get that raw onion breath from this. You can use it exactly like salsa. And I also like to add some of the jerk sauce into my rice because it's so, so flavorful. So seriously, try this one out, especially if you need a good vegan dish for a barbecue. Our final recipe is for tofu lettuce wraps. This is the easiest one. This probably takes me 15 minutes max from start to finish. So this is a great go-to healthy weeknight dinner. So just take your tofu, either chop it into small bits or crumble it with your hands. And I also add a can of water chestnuts that I drain and dice up. And this time I also threw in a handful of edamame. And then of course, I've got my green onions, my minced garlic and my ginger for that oriental flavor. And then add any other stir fry veggies you want really, bell peppers, carrots, mushrooms, up to you. This is completely no fuss. You just throw everything at the same time into a nonstick skillet over medium high heat, stir fry it until the tofu starts to take on a golden color. Then at the very last minute, I add a dash of soy sauce, um, stir it just to combine, take it off the heat immediately. And if you want to switch up the flavor, you can use any stir fry sauce, teriyaki, Korean barbecue, Kung Pao, Literally the sky is the limit. And then you just spoon your filling into some rinsed lettuce leaves. I personally love, love, love butter lettuce, but romaine or green leaf or even cabbage leaves actually work well too. I usually top mine with some fresh grated carrots, some avocado and some sriracha. 
and crushed peanuts or cashews and cilantro also make really nice addition. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you try any of these recipes out, seriously, let me know either on here or Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.